have our final speaker um, to my right. We have Soad Baba Isa. Um, and Soad is a campaigner in France, the founder of the Association for Mixing, Equality and Secularism. Thank you. Thank you. I hope I have not only one minute for speech. <laughs> Because one minute for speak about one century of migrants, of Algerian migrants in France. One minute for speak about the 50 years of Algeria after the independence. And one minute for speak about 30 years of the slender code of family in Algeria is very poor for explaining to you all these things. I want at first thanks Mariam and thanks Mar uh, Mariam and Maria um, for this conference, and they pushed me to come because at first I say I don't can come because I don't speak English very well. My poor English. I uh, want to use some uh, apologize <laughs> for my poor English, but I try to make this difficult exercise. Um, I want to say uh, I was born in France. I, I was an activist in France and in 93 years old, I, come, I came to Algeria and live in Algeria before, and before the rude period, the criminal period again, the, Algerian people. I take my family, my husband, and my son very well because I say I don't have a baby, but it will become an orphan. And after, when I come back in France, I was so surprised by the new situation. And this situation for me it's very difficult, very difficult for the laicity in France. I don't speak about secularism, I speak about laicity. Because I was born in France. I was uh, a people that grew up in France with the mind of one woman that live in a laic state. And Step by step, ideologies, religious ideologies, came in the sphere of politics and laws. And it's for that reason that I say we have a double fight, not only against terrorism, Islamist terrorism, but against Islamist ideology. Before the process we start, we start in Algeria, when political Islam gained public audience and its pernicious infiltration in the civil society was possible only by the will of the poor to behead the progressive chance. Since the 1970s years, the oligarchy, the Algerian oligarchy, the unique party in the office and the Islamist settled the ideologizations of the religions. They lean on a constitution where Islam is a state religion, an education and university system which loses its meaning to educate citizens to be able to think by themselves and to be emancipated. The Arabization and the context school programs are the weapons of mass destruction of the youth and its future. The upholders of the Algerian authorities trade the cultural issue and identity. They using Arabic and Muslim specificity of the Algerian people and approve of the denial of modernity under the pretext of westernization to show itself Islamically correct. In 1948, uh, that you called moderate Islam gained the first ideological battle with the institution of the Algerian family code, the slender code, as we prefer to call it in Algeria. 
the first political violence against women exists because they put them in the religious rules of another age, which undermines and humiliates them. The tools of repression against women, the tools of subordination of women that take the Algerian authorities to the men, that the, if we don't understand that the ideology and the specific Islamity was used in Algeria for maintaining the people uh, oppressed, you don't understand this double uh, fight. The student state in Algeria was crossed by the, by the violation of the Algerian constitution in 19, uh, tw uh, 1989. The FLN, National Liberation Front, the unique party, allowed the legalization of the religious party, the Islamic Salvation Front. And the Algerian history is typical in this way. Islam is a state religion, and you shouldn't see only Islam as in the sphere of spirituality or a religion. You should be see it as a politics force because the Islam statement is all embracing the things and oblige every Muslim to live under this Islamic, this reactionary Islam. He embraces the political sphere, the cultural sphere, the economic sphere, the civil sphere, and the civic arena. And you, um, an Algerian oligarchy was only worried to ensure his uh, power, the, the corrupt power, and the non-democratic political system. A minority of people, of privileged person, plunder the wealth and leave the field of social, uh, of the social very free for the Islamist charities. Uh, this Islamist charities make a work. This work is to indoctrinate the population and introduce themselves as a political alternative to this oligarchy. Instead, the Islamist ideology became in Algeria very important. And when people refuse this authoritarian Islam, the absence of freedom of conscience, the red and the overflowing of this religion in the political sphere, they are going to pay with their lives being assassinated because they are considered as kofar, as hated, high enemies of God. The Algerians were the victim of the Islamist ideology and its terrorism, the real barbarie that leave profound scars in the consciousness of and the Algerian people. The women pay the every price, price in their resistance against Islamic Salvation Front and armed Islamic group of Algeria. And women are still waiting of their rights for equality recognized while the terrorists threat with complete impunity in the name of the law of civil concord and national recognition. And today, in the general amnesty that we call general amnesia. And it, when I heard my friend of Afghanistan, I say how the Taliban can have, um, have put so disant, the harm, but the, the, the reconciliation, the national recognition was being on the rights of women in Af Afghanistan. So we never forget that in Algeria, it was not a civil war, it was a war against civil population that was completely disarmed 
uh, face to the, 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 the terrorist Islamist. In this context, the women's struggle is very difficult and extremely difficult against Islamo-conservative. But today, it could be made if, if, if a reformist of the Islam were still possible, it could be made only by this double fight against the Islamist terrorists and against Islamist ideology. We can spare a reflection in this direction. The indignation of the Muslim world or Westerners in front of the humanity and barbarity of Islamist terrorism is not enough. The fight is focused on the link between the authoritarian religious ideology and its military wings, the Islamist terrorism. And in France, the field is the same because the French government led the field social in the migrant population to the Islamists and their ideology. And it's for that reason that now we have a young people that is going to, uh, to, Afga to Iraq or to Syria as a jihadist. Because the, this ideology put them in the communitarism, in an identitarian closure which takes them from the French society in which they, in where they live under the delusion of a retriever dignity, a valued identity, they are going to encourage their submission. You know, in 1983, when the young people from parents migrant work in France for equality, we work for equal rights, not about we were Muslim, we were we work as a citizen, not our Muslim citizen. What takes in France today must not be trivialized something unimportant, susceptible to be, to be maintained in the margin. This is proved by the fact that the skills of the new ideological settlers, that the imams are servants of Wahhabism, conquer the whole French population since it's intellectuals preaching cultural relativism up to the jihadism for an old fringe of France youth that blows up as a kamikaze terrorist attacks in Iraq and in Syria. Let us not be deluded by the warmoring policies, politics which on the white side tosses bombs against Islamist terrorists and in the other side allows Islamist ideology to enter everywhere by uniting with the ideologists and the financiers of this ideology that are the most Islamist monarchies, Saudi Arabia and Qatar. The infiltration of this religious ideology takes the shape of a political extremist. We grow undercover. It becomes readable when it splashes the secular bases and the citizens of the French society. The obsessional tendency not to see us, French, with dual citizenship, except as members of a religious community, Umma and its weights to maintain us systematically in the closed field of presupposed categories, endorsed by aggravating the preservation and the resurgence of a reactionary Islam, which refused to reform and to put itself to okay with the 21th century. In the end, the Bias closes the doors for us to citizenship and throw us into communitarism, we shall grow as citizens, we shall be free ourselves from obstacles of the past on the only condition that we shall be equality, inequality and treat in the same uh, level with the French people, not in, our, not in the cultural relativism.
These positions remind me of the colonial area. Yes, <laughs> I stopped after. But it's very important that had locked us into the code of indigena and, rele and relegate to the second class citizen. And we were the French, the Muslim French people. The solution is not tolerance, is not only the respect of culture that leave people and the, the population in the ideological and you burn ghettos. Capitalism adapts itself to all situations, and its best friend is still charity to compensate misery and poverty. Beyond the humanitarian work, the main thing according to Abdenour Bidar is the world disease of good money which prospers and extends. And <laughs> it's in, and in, yes, and in France, you do not reduce the employment in the popular district by opening Islamic fashion shop, Islamic bookshop, butcher shops, halal hairdressers. It's not the response, it's not the answer. This answer is stay in your ghettos and the more importantly, do not come in our districts. Even when, yes, even when the extremely rich Islamists of Qatar or Saudi Arabia accuse buildings and mention in the capital, in the French capital, they do not transform them into social housing for the oppressed population with a claim to, def to defend. And I finished. No, just one thing, one thing. Yes, I have to finish because I want to say something, something, something very important. You know, the policy of culpabilized the Democrats, the feminists of the Muslim countries is not, uh, is a, is the same, is the same that, like you say, when they confuse, there, there is confusion between Sionism and between uh, anti-Semitism. It's the same thing. And like, we have to yes, like, yeah, yeah. like, we have to like Kateb Yassin, I want to say something. Like Kateb, like Kateb Yassin, say, I take time. the French language was a spoil of war, I say, laicity is my spoil of war for live free and emancipate and not believe suffocate, suffocate in the Islamist ideology. Thank you.